misconceptions about some of our players in game or the hero pools of the different players. Um, uh, some of the roster swaps they have might uh, they have made might seem strange to the viewers' perspective, but they also told me to remind everyone that to the back corner, back right corner if you're on the attack to get the biotic grenade if they do dive that deep. That's a oh, ooh, Fissure newly taken down. He had to exit that fight in a hurry. Gladiators, of course, on their attack. Philadelphia Fusion. See what they can do on the defense. Yeah, they're feeding a lot of ult charge over to the Ana already, though. True enough. As you can see, hydration poking in from the top. They're going to try and dive the support to the back corner. Everybody's there. Ana Zenyatta can be pretty vulnerable back there. There goes Neptuno. Talk about vulnerable. A kill for hydration. We're holding back here. So the attackers, la 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 la, they stand on point and they started pushing it. And then the payload got too close to you and you're like, ew, payload. No, that thing's gross. And then you started backing up. Ew, payload. That thing's gross. Ew. No, 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 no. So an even better position would be in front of the payload so that they fight on the payload. And then if you die on the payload, then they can start moving it. And then there's the Jane school of thought. Then there's how Jane plays this fucking game. And the payload is here. And I'm here. So that I force the team fight to happen in front of the payload, so that while the team fight is happening, the payload is slowly creeping backwards the entire time. And then after they kill me, my friends, everyone I love, and my dog, then they can walk their sweet asses over to the payload, which has been backing up the entire time, and start. But the sound barrier for Neptuno, keeping the gladiators back. Fusion stays healthy, and they are on to point A. They lost Fraggy, but they should have enough. Reflect. Oh, Sleep Dart misses, and despite the grenade, I think Big Goose. Oh, they got each other. Oh, man, that was uh, a bit embarrassing for EQO, but so entertaining. Yeah, Carpe there for the tactical crouch to round things up, <laughs> as right. usual. You as never well. know it's, when someone it's... switches to Widowmaker, you got a tactical crouch, man. Yeah, yeah that's you right. You got to duck those shots. That's for me so far. <laughs> For anyone who plays Zenyatta, <laughs> learn this jump, but you're going to need your best friend, the Lucio. Johnny, you said you spent hours practicing this with your former team. How complicated is this? How can people it's do it at really home? You will see that Lucio hits his head and falls down. Oh, no, he didn't hit that, but he fell down. And it's so hard, actually, to execute this jump as a Zenyatta because you have to do it perfectly. Uh, we, we in Misfits, we spent hours. When you found out Zenyatta was playing, was your team worried at all coming into this match? No. It was pretty much as Manetan said, we just had to expect his aggressive plays, I guess. He likes to triple blink in and like shoot a clip into someone, try to get a one clip and then recall out. And when he does that, that like opens a window a lot of the time where like if the tracer triple blinks in, recalls, doesn't get any value, you get so much space. We get to move up because we know the tracer has low blinks and no recall, so... If we did, just didn't die to that, if we made sure that he didn't get post bombs, uh, we were golden. Yo, thank you, C White. I appreciate it, dude. Free Winston tip. If you jump and don't hold space, stops immediately. If you jump and hold space, you skip like a stone. And you can use this to land at your shield's edge instead of the center of it. Shield's Edge. Nailed it. So, you want to be landing not in the center of your bubble, but on the edge of it so you can immediately start shield dancing. Boom. Clip. Compositions. They've started to show us variation in general, because we haven't really seen a lot from them Attack up until recently, but man, the stuff they've tried has generally looked very good. Yes, and being unpredictable like the Gladiators on hybrid attack is huge, because if you can take it in your first push, you set yourself up with a lot of time to finish out the map, yeah. and it, it can be a, a rock, paper, scissors, because the Philadelphia Fusion must choose a composition without knowing what is going to be coming at them. It's going to be Tracer and Widow on point A defense. Now, we don't see Huh. this as commonly. Uh, the fight's still happening. Snillo res by Neptuno. Neptuno down via sure for They need to get this pick oh! and it gets him! Oh, the bell comes in! Oh, man, he knew exactly where he was going to go. And a nice headshot on the big goose. Is it Baby Bay or will it be Dante? Sleepy, the support lead in the charge. Nevix right behind him. We got Moth in the mix as well. And it looks like we are going to see Dante, the second DPS. What does that tell you? Dante. Dante.
Dante indeed. We would have expected Baby Bay to come in, but you got to remember these two guys are incredibly flexible players and they can play Genji. So now you have Dive as an opportunity for the San Francisco Shock, something that we didn't previously see. Yeah, so then we also, I think this means we'll see some more Genji. We spoke about Dante. He can play a decent Genji and a decent Sombra. And Sinatra on the Tracer, I mean, that's pretty much a certainty, of course. But this might we see a, a more aggressive look coming out of the San Francisco Shock. There he is, the man himself. Mr. 150k. Yeah, I did actually ask Sinatra prior to the game if this is going to make it a little bit con uh, competitive between him and Dante, like who gets to play the Tracer. And he said that... We're waiting for that EMP to come in. Tavik ends up picking a kill before they use the EMP. The, the Primal Rage from Nomi paying dividends here. The Mayhem just shot it around. And Sinatra, go. I see the crouch, mate. That's the Sinatra I know. <laughs> but Cash. The filmmaker on the opposite side for the shock and no Winston either, so it's really just on Nevix to put that pressure on him. Well, if they get with this self destruct, Nomi has to about face with that shield very quickly, and it looks like he did so. The San Francisco shock were pushed back for a moment. This rip tire will need to get a lot of value. And cut through Zuppe, and Dante down though. Getting a 6v5 and exacerbating that advantage is what they intend to do. Manhattan's forced out, Nevix though, gets to pick and Zebosai. Nice EMP from Dante, making it very hard for the Mayhem to use any of their mobility abilities to avoid the blast. Yeah, they both get hit with the EMP there as a... Uh, take a look. In the skybox, there is that. self the shot goes over the top. Vic and Zebosai not able to get out. So now we're under 25 seconds. In Dante, Dante makes it back to the payload, and then Moth uses the nano boost onto Sleepy to keep him alive long enough until he gets that transcendence, then pops it. You have Sinatra, Nevix, and Nomi coming out of... No, no, what happened is, is that's where Swoosh dies. He tries to wait to go to get Swoosh, and it's too late, and he's not able to get the red. Oh, that's a nightmare scenario, but Manhattan's coming in. Oakley trying to recover things here for the Florida Mayhem. Step aside now, big, big barrage from up on high. He's found two and a D suit. What a perfect response, and great timing. Direct hit with Sinatra across the map. Money ain't gonna save you there, my friend. The point will go back to the... Expect the baby base soldier, of course, to be the difference maker, uh, killing Twick and, uh, of course, applying a lot of pressure. But instead, because Swoosh and Manetan are playing so aggressive on these tanks, Baby Bay, he doesn't necessarily get a lot of room on that soldier in the first place to be able to deal with Twick. So... What do we expect for them in the second half? Where are they at their greatest strength right now, composition-wise? I mean... Is there one? Okay. Well, there's the dive. <laughs> right? like, right? They have dive now. Okay, what? Okay. No, they have good Winston and a good Genji, right? Okay, that, but oh. you need more than two people for the dive. No, not really. We've seen in the past, Fisher makes a lot of space for the Gladiator. So, okay. Then Otto realizes, I have good space. This is a good opportunity to pull the Dragon Blade. You have five King, who's a good Lucio, who can pull out the Sound Barrier. There, there isn't an awful lot of teamwork that actually needs to get together here because the players at such a li uh, high level, they play a lot of ranked, they know exactly what situations they can make plays happen. And if you can create those uh, create those situations with, if, with Fearless maybe controlling a lot of space, there is a lot of plays that could actually come together here and actually we can actually see a pretty even game. I think the... What? <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, I think we've seen Shanghai well, Dragons okay. in the past. They, I think the strength that they have is... They've the taken fact, maps of it, Soul it, Dynasty. Yeah, they've taken maps, but a close, like, actual series here. If we dive, I'm gonna play Soldier. Okay, there you go. Oh, yes? Thank you, man. I, I always eat lunch and dinner in the, um, in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, that's just, that's just the way it is, yeah. I know, it's, I know it sounds kind of weird, but it, that's, just, that's just the way it is. Get everybody on the same page and trying to avoid the mistakes. Nice. Just relax here. Don't, don't try to win fights we shouldn't be trying to win. Like we we I, we like went for the beat there. Like there's no reason to yeah, there, try I to win those kind of fights. It was like I knew I couldn't get it, but I did it anyway. Yeah, it's it's no worries. That just means like just yeah. relax a little. Like look, think about our win but conditions. No, I, I just thought that he was gonna be able to get it while I was beaming him for the whole yeah. time. Nah, it was like the diva. So that's actually really good to hear because you even though you're playing against an opponent that might not have had any wins, you need to recognize it.